Coming up this morning on Daybreak, a local organization hosts a Christmas party for young adults who have aged out of foster care. The party going above and beyond their expectations. And experts say this year's holiday travel is the busiest ever. Can you believe that? We'll tell you what day could even be the busiest of them all later in the show. We have those stories and much more heading your way this morning on Daybreak. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. It is Thursday, December 26th. You probably know that if you had any Christmas festivities <laughs> yesterday. We certainly hope you all had a great day. Joe and Elisa had the day off, but meteorologist Beth Finello joins me this morning. Never leave you hanging. No. Never. You would never leave me here to talk to myself, and I appreciate that. <laughs> That'd be a pretty awkward show, just no one to talk to oh, at all. Oh, yeah. I feel like that sometimes that happens, like severe weather, if we start off by ourselves, you're just talking to yourself at that point. Like, yeah. Who, who am I talking to? I'm mean, talking to all of you. You, yes, but. as you're heading out this morning, day after Christmas, get the extra large coffee. That's the extra we were large just talking coffee about. Yeah. and ditch the heavy coat. Maybe a jacket, maybe. Maybe, but even then, it's like, yeah, it's like a little chill in the air because temperatures are in the 50s. But I mean, our normal time, our normal low for the overnight hours is in the 20s. Okay, and we're waking up much warmer than that. That's, yes. that's Christmas gift to you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We're starting off this morning with just a few clouds. Not much going on. Not going to need your rain jacket as you head out this morning. We're looking at temperatures again in the 50s. It's 50 degrees right now in Springfield on a south and east wind at about 11 miles per hour. It's 48 in Branson, 54 in Ava, 54 up in Joplin, 51 in Lake Ozark, and 55 in Clinton. Right now, winds are about 5 to 15 miles per hour out of the south and southeast. We're not looking at any gusts at the moment. I do think we could see some gusts today up to about 20 miles per hour. As you're heading out the door, maybe grab a light jacket. Not going to need it by this afternoon. Look at this. Temperatures in the 60s by this afternoon once again. Mild and quiet. We're not looking at any road hazards through the day. Green light all the way as you're heading out the door this morning and as you make your way home through the evening hours tonight. Go ahead and grab that extra large coffee because it is the day after a holiday. Of course, everybody's going to need it. Won't need it, though, because it's hot. Temperatures will be mild in the 60s with just a few clouds. We have that mild day today with more shower chances moving in tomorrow night, keeping those shower chances Saturday and early through the day on Sunday. I've got your New Year's Eve sneak peek in just a few minutes. The holidays can be tough and lonely for young adults who have transitioned out of foster care. That's why one local group went out of its way to help people celebrate. It was all part of Foster Adopt Connect's Youth Connection Project. The project itself helps these young adults find housing, a job, and develop skills. Yesterday, though, they celebrated with a free meal and a free shopping trip at Sammy's Window Clothing Store. 26-year-old Jonathan Rutland says he's thankful for days like yesterday, but adds that he's thankful you Around to take things home every month. I mean, it's helped me out so, so much. I mean, I, I can't begin to tell you. I haven't even sat down and calculated, <laughs> honestly, how much money I've saved. Just being able to utilize Sammy's window and get stuff that I would normally be spending $20, $30 on at Walmart and not have to worry about having to pay that money. So. Also, aside from saving money, Rutland says it was nice having company on Christmas. Although he has a foster family in Joplin, he lives in, in Springfield by himself. Around the Ozarks, a man is in the hospital after being shot in the head yesterday. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office found the man in the 24,000 block of Rolling Hills Road in Richland, Missouri. We don't yet know his condition, but the man was taken to a trauma center by helicopter. Officials have a person of interest in custody, and charges are expected to be filed. This is an ongoing investigation, but officials believe it was an isolated incident and there was no threat to the community. A 39-year-old man from Marshfield is in serious condition after a crash on I-44 late last night. This crash happened near mile marker 136 in Laclede County and shut down the interstate in both directions for a short time. A crash report reveals the man was driving east in the westbound lanes when he hit a second vehicle head-on. Four people in that vehicle suffered minor to moderate injuries. The Hazel Green Fire Protection District posted on Facebook that the crash involved entrapment and fire. Around the region, one Missouri school district is celebrating tens of thousands of dollars in savings after installing solar panels on one of its buildings. Missouri Net reports the Kirksville School District in northeast Missouri installed 200 solar panels on its Votech building in February. Since the panels went online, the district has saved $28,000 in power costs. 
District officials have plans to expand the project and install more panels on other buildings. We need to bring you a story that's positively Ozarks now. An Arkansas fire chief donates a kidney to an 18 year old right here in southwest Missouri. Gerald Ezel is the fire chief in Maumel, Arkansas, and he gave one of his kidneys to 18 year old Sidney Burnett of Granby, Missouri on December 13th, just two days after meeting her. Ezel says he learned about Burnett's need when he saw a Facebook post from her mom, who's an old school friend of his. Ezel says he realized they have the same blood type. And he felt God was telling him to, quote, step across that line. We're looking at dry roads this morning and warm conditions with temperatures in the 50s. Today, you're not going to need that jacket because guess what? Temperatures once again are going to make it into the middle 60s by this afternoon. A couple of clouds, but we're looking at more sun than clouds today. Not looking at rain chances for today, at least. We do have rain chances coming this weekend. We'll do more right after the break. Don't go anywhere. From Color 10 Ozarks First, Lauren Barnes, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.